These potion ideas can fill your game with life and excitement as they open up so many exciting abilities and potential. Let's start things off with something super intriguing, the Shrinking Potion. I really love this idea just for the possibilities of little nook houses or mouse hole in the wall houses. Now all you need is quarter sized blocks to decorate with. Moving on to a utility type potion, we've got the Attraction Potion. It lures mobs without you needing to hold their favorite foods, and it also attracts items to you like a magnet. I can see these two benefits working in harmony when you're harvesting, uh, or is slaughtering a better word? Um, gathering. Gathering meat from your animal pens. Um, anyway, it's made by brewing an awkward potion with an iron ingot. Our next potion is the maturing potion. Again, useful for animals. Splash this on them, and they'll grow up through their childhood in the blink of an eye. Um, Literally though, not like the expression. Additionally, it'll make mobs lose their breeding cooldown. So you'll have quite the um, party if you use this potion when you're harvesting, uh, slaughtering, uh, sorry, I mean gathering meat. If you're looking for the most dangerous way to cook your meat as you gather it, try the potion of fire breathing. Perfect for lighting up anything you lay your eyes on. Just don't look at the fences of your animal pen or your house, or the forest, or anything remotely resembling wood. Next is the Potion of Retreat. It's a plain and simple potion, but the real fun comes when you think about this on a server. Make this into a splash potion, and toss it on your unsuspecting friends, and they'll be sent back to their bed, or even to spawn in an instant. But what if you're looking to escape, not to get back? to get as far away from everything as fast as possible. Well, the Potion of Void Shift is for you. This is a higher tier item, brewed with an end crystal, and when you drink it, the world flips on its side. You can travel super far distances incredibly quickly as you literally fall across the world. So, while falling across the world is fun, I'm particularly drawn to the mind-bending ways that this potion can actually spice up your builds and your world as you think about how both normal gravity and sideways gravity players interact with the same build. Next up, it's sunk into the block below it, and that's because it's a potion of submersion. This one's a little next level. Drink it up, and you'll be able to shift through blocks, kind of like scaffolding. With some careful navigation, you can breach walls, climb directly out of caves, or graves, or escape into bushes like this Simpsons meme. This potion is made by brewing a chorus fruit with an awkward potion. Next we have the Potion of Dexterity. This potion is for all the builders out there. Mix a jump boost potion with an amethyst shard, and watch as your building reach extends by 5 blocks. You'll also be able to jump up 3 blocks high, and all items in your inventory will stack to 99. Just make sure you're prepared for the effect to wear off, or you might see your inventory explode at an untimely moment. Now, say you're up in your castle, but you're running out of dexterity potion fast, and your bag is absolutely filled. You need to get down, but what, what, oh, what can you use to get down? Aha! Uh -huh, the slime potion! Mix an awkward potion with an icky, sticky, phlegmy slime ball, take a hesitant swig, and you'll find that all blocks act as slime blocks, letting you jump around everywhere. It's like the whole world is a bouncy castle. Just be careful when you press shift. However, you can hold shift when you're against the side of a block, and your sticky slime magic will make you stick to it. The Potion of Morphing. Brew a part of a mob with a shulker shell and get yourself a morph potion of that mob. Morphing into a mob not only changes your hearts to match it, but also your size and warrants some special abilities. The best I'd say is the Phantom Morph Potion because it lets you fly like in creative mode and you can fit in super small gaps 